Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details, and in today's video we're going to be taking a step back in time. Over this coronavirus lockdown period of which I've been off work for 11 weeks, I've spent a bit of this time geeking out whilst researching the true history of automotive detailing. I personally found researching this topic to be incredibly insightful and obviously due to myself working in the industry full time for a few years now, it's good to know the history of your chosen field. Within the lockdown period I've also spent a bit of this time creating an online blog for the JP Details website. This blog contains various aspects and topics of the detailing industry, including a dummies guide to a professional car wash, my highly recommended products and tools, a maintenance guide for caring for a ceramic coated vehicle and the history of automotive detailing. I currently have a further two blog posts in creation called Starting a Detailing Business and Ferrari Living the Dream. The history of automotive detailing has been the most time consuming blog post to create. The amount of research that I was required to put in to quite simply make this feature video purely based on facts, just like the last video I uploaded, proved quite the challenge acquiring various bits of information and lots of photos and footage. Today we're going to be learning about the key movements within the industry and who those initial companies were that have shaped the detailing industry into what it is today. So without further ado, let's take a step back in time. In 1800 the world's first wax was developed out of animal fats in a German town called Bistofsrein. They created this wax to protect the lacquer like paint that was applied to the horse drawn carriages, there were no motorised vehicles at this point in time. In 1878 the Connolly Leather Company who operated until 2002 for over a century the Connolly Bros was synonymous with the quality of leather used in the very best of British marquees, including Rolls Royce, Bentley, Aston Martin and Jaguar. This English tannery had been producing and supplying highly finished oil based pigmented leather primarily to car manufacturers at two plants in Northampton and Ashford which is in Kent. The first production vehicle was invented in 1886 by Carl Benz and the vehicle was powered by petrol or gasoline. The DRP 37435 patent is recognised as the official birth certificate of the motor car. The company now known as Mercedes Benz was founded in 1889 by Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach. In 1888, Menzerna, who are a top selling company today, started developing a range of solid, liquid and paste polishing compounds. In 1901, Frank McGuire Jr. founded a small furniture polishing laboratory in his own garage. The company is now known as McGuire's and they are recognised as an absolute juggernaut in the detailing industry. In 1900, the first automobile to be produced in quantity was the 1901 Curve Dash Oldsmobile which was built in the United States by Ransom E. Olds. A US power tool company called Porter Cable was established in 1914 and they started to manufacture electrically operated random orbital sander. This is now one of the most used tools for professional and enthusiast detailers in the United States. The Velcro backed backing plates and foam pads were introduced for use with both high speed rotary and random orbital sanders. In 1910, George Simmons developed a cleaner and a Conneber wax product for automotive paintwork. His company was named Simmons Manufacturing Company and the products were named Simmons Cleaner and Simmons Paste Wax, however in 1912 the company was renamed Simonis. I'll be honest, I've always looked at the Simonis brand as being cheap and cheerful which may possibly be the case, however you must note that this company was one of the very first companies in the world that actually began making products for our industry. I'm sure many of us would think the same about this brand, but perhaps the next time you are in Halfords, why not grab a bottle of something with the Simonis label on, just to show some respect for this seriously long established product manufacturer. In the early 1920s, 3M invented the world's first waterproof sandpaper which reduced airborne dust during automotive manufacturing. In 1925, 3M revolutionised the automotive industry by inventing masking tape which allowed paint shops to get a razor sharp line on two tone paint jobs. Swissfax was established in the 1930s and was and still is a family owned and operated institution. The old Anvanda family chemist in Zurich served as both the laboratory and the workshop for the first tins of anti-vax using an old wax formulation for antique furniture and lacquer. 
The Anne van der family have devoted themselves to producing paints, lacquers and waxes for three generations. The natural car waxes were originally produced solely for the personal use of the grandfather and company founder Hans Anne van der. In my opinion, Swiss Wax makes some of the best waxes in the world and they are worth every penny. The difference with using a high quality wax such as Swiss Wax is far better than cheaper alternatives on the market. I'm planning a visit to the Swiss Wax HQ in Switzerland at some point in the near future. In 1944, Plastone TM Auto Polish is the first bottled car wax. This liquid auto polish was invented by Ben Hirsch and it was renamed Turtle Wax for its hard shell finish. In 1969, the polymer sealant introduced by DuPont is the world's first commercially available product of its kind. Ruipes is an Italian family company and was founded in 1947. They've been developing tools, accessories and air venting systems with a fixed aim at quality and simplifying the job. They are most famous for their range of Bigfoot dual action machine polishes and this company has single-handedly innovate how we paint correct cars today. They began making sanding machines and when production of vehicles increased, they moved their efforts towards manufacturing machine polishes and orbital sanders. In the 1950s, Menzerna came under the management of Dr. Walter Burkhardt, who began researching industrial polishing technology, culminating his writing of a guide to sharpening and polishing. This guide is still recognised as the standard guide on the subject. With the 1960s came the invention of liquid polish emulsions, which is still the norm in the auto industry. Menzerna quickly adopted this new way of processing and applied it to some of the highest standards of quality that the industry has ever seen. In 1959, the brilliant American physicist Richard Feynman is widely credited with kick-starting modern interest in nanotechnology. In 1959, in a famous after-dinner speech called There is Plenty of Room at the Bottom, the ever-imaginative Feynman speculated about an incredibly tiny world where people could use tiny tools to rearrange atoms and molecules. By 1974, Japanese engineering professor Norio Taniguchi had named this field nanotechnology. In 1964, after departing from the family business, Floyd Maguire set out to create a new company and one that would live up to his grandfather's vision and philosophy, which is to never sell a product until you are convinced it is the finest product of its kind in the world. From this, in 1964, Finnish Care was born and the vision and philosophy lives on. PPF, also known as Paint Protection Film, was first developed for the military during the Vietnam War, circa mid-1960s. Helicopter rotor blades and other sensitive parts of military transport were often damaged by flying shrapnel and debris. In order to help protect these moving parts, the US military asked 3M to come up with a solution that was both inconspicuous and low weight. PPF eventually made its way into the automotive industry after the designers realised the benefits of using it for protecting automotive vehicles, but I'm not sure on the exact date, I'm guessing it was in the mid-90s. The Autoglim brand was founded in 1965 by UK motor trade entrepreneur Dennis Barley who went on to create a unique system for renovating used car paintwork. When I began cleaning cars back in 2006, Autoglim, which seemed to be the favoured choice at the time with Halfords, was the first brand of products that I used. I continued using Autoglim for several years until eventually moving over to Meguiar's quite simply because Meguiar's was the more premium brand. I am a bit of a brand snob for sure. By the 1970s, Japan and Europe were using metallic base paints with a clear coat. This clear coat system produced outstanding hardness, gloss and long lasting colour. The process was brought to the USA but for the first two to three years there were many issues with the clear coat failing. In the mid 1970s the unique twin head orbital action polisher designed by Cyclo USA for the aircraft industry was also found to be amazing at paint correction on automobiles. Autosmart was established in 1979 and they are known for creating products that clean vehicles quicker, more effectively and efficiently. Today, Autosmart International are the leading manufacturer and distributors of professional vehicle and food cleaning products for trade customers. Personally, myself, I've never really ventured into the Autosmart range, but they do make a couple of products that I simply couldn't replace. Zymo was established in 1980 by Charles Bennett, 
Mr. Bennett visited his grandmother's birthplace where he found a wax formula for horse-drawn wooden carriages. With the help of a pharmaceutical company, he managed to determine the composition and found suitable substitutes for the recipe to use on automotive clear coats. Mike Phillips began teaching detailing classes for McGuire's in 1987 and in the spring of 2009, Mike stepped down from his position at McGuire's and made the move over to AutoGeek where he is now the head trainer. In 2015, Mike Phillips and Adriana AJ Janik of Overhauling would be hosting a new show on the Velocity channel of the Discovery Network called Competition Ready. Jason Rose, who is now the Director of Global Training for Rupes USA, has a total of 40 years in the car care industry. Jason spent 20 years with McGuire's in their professional division before joining Rupes as their head trainer. Darren Priest, the owner of Auto Fetish Detail of Orange County, California, established his business in 1988. The popular YouTube personality has certainly done his rounds with thousands of luxury vehicles across his territory. Darren helped me via his YouTube videos in the early stages of setting up my own business and he certainly had a good influence in shaping how my business is today. Around three years ago, Darren actually gave me a shout out on his YouTube channel, so thank you Darren very much. In 1990, detailing clay which was first used in Japan in around the 1980s was first introduced into the USA. Introduction of the water-based oven-dried two-stage paint system also happened in the 90s. This diversified the paint colours available and perfected the clear coat system. Microfibers were first publicised in the early 1990s in Sweden and saw massive success as a product in Europe over the decade. In 2000, PPG Industries invented Ceramic Clear, which is a binary clear coat composition that eliminated paint degradation from causes such as acid rain, salt and UV radiation. Lake Country Manufacturing in Heartland WI was established in 1977. They have grown considerably since that time and their mission and business philosophy remains the same to develop and manufacture high quality value added products that contribute to the profitability of our customers. Lake Country's ongoing commitment to product innovation is evident by their growing list of patented products. They continue to develop new and improved products to serve the market's ever-changing needs for buffing and polishing solutions. G-Technic was founded by a quantum physicist called Drew Gill in 2001 in the United Kingdom out of a total dissatisfaction with the performance of paint protection products at the time. G-Technic went on to release the first known about ceramic coating in 2007 called C1 Crystal Lacquer. Today, G-Technic, who are one of the leaders within the ceramic coating manufacturer field, offer the longest lasting ceramic coating known to mankind. The 9-year coating called G-Technic Ultra is a game changer within the industry. Poor Boys was founded in 2002 by a chap called Steve, who actually began his car care career in the 1990s. The business is family owned and operated and they have a very simplistic view towards the creation of their products. They must be highly effective, easy to use and affordable. Elaborate packaging and other fluff is not their style. These products get right down to the business with impressive results at a great value. Poor boys focus on the quality of their products, nothing else, not even the labels. When I first started going to car shows back in 2007, shortly after purchasing a Fiesta Zetacus Mark V and after joining the ZSOC online forum, I went to a few car shows including Ford Fair, Fiesta in the Park and Santa Pod. This is when I saw the brand Poor Boys and I soon became attached to their products. Paul Dalton, who was practically made famous by the 5th Gear TV episode that aired in 2006, was one of the first detailers to raise the profile of car detailing in the UK. Paul's business Miracle Detail was established in 2003 out of one man's obsession. He's been cleaning cars since he was 13 and he used to spend the profits on trying to become a professional mountain biker. For Paul, the car soon became more than just a means to fund his hobby and he's now turned into one of the most respected detailers in the world. Detailing World was founded by a chap called John Hole who then went on to establish the product supplier called Clean and Shiny. He also founded Waxstock. 
Detailing World The Forum was launched in October 2005 with a moderate group of members. In the following years before the likes of Facebook groups or YouTube, Detailing World was the number one place to go for many like-minded detailers and valetors including myself. I've also dug up some other information that the same chap established the business Zeno Europe with an American friend, although I am a bit skeptical that it may be a different guy. Joe McDonald, or perhaps better known as the car cleaning guru to the best of my knowledge, established his business in 2006 as a mobile valet service called Ace Valet. Joe McDonald is an official YouTube and detailing legend. I used to love watching his videos back in the day and still tune in to watch his content today. He's been a true inspiration for many detailers, including myself. Bill Tambo was born in 2007, Auto Finesse launched their first range of products in 2011 with 7 products in total which covered the basics. Gion launched their initial range of quartz ceramic coatings in 2012 and they are based in South Korea. Modesta is a Japanese manufacturer of high-end surface coatings but they've only been around for a few years. Larry Costilla, or perhaps better known as Ammo NYC, has single-handedly been the biggest inspiration for my own detailing career. Larry was well on his way to the big leagues of finance after graduating college and landing a job on Wall Street trading natural gas commodities at the New York Mercantile Exchange. He soon realised that he'd rather do what he loved, which was to be around expensive cars. Larry established his business in 2011 and has no doubt gone on to make just as much money detailing cars, creating YouTube content and selling his own product range as he would have made on the New York Stock Exchange. That would now lead us to what the advancements within the detailing industry have involved over the past decade. We've seen a herd of new detailing product supplies coming through including Diamond Bright, Easy Detail, Carchem, Sam's Detailing, Pyramid Car Care and AM Details to name but a few. I'm sure at least one of those brands will secure a place on one of your detailing specific garage shelves. The advancements within the tools and products themselves that we use nowadays tend to be a lot easier to use. They produce far better finishes than those initial products created back in the mid 1900s and I'm sure that none of us would want to permanently go back in time. Ceramic coatings have been the biggest development within the industry, providing the end user with some incredibly tough, highly effective and long-lasting protection. With G-Technic having just released their innovative 9-year paint coating really does make me wonder where the industry will be in a further 10 years time. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's topic on the history of automotive detailing. I've personally really enjoyed creating this video and learning about the key movements of the industry. Until recently, I didn't have a clue. The honourable mentions within the video honestly do come with a lot of respect from myself. If I've missed anything in the video that you guys feel that I should have added, then please let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and feel free to give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram, just search JP Details. Drop the video a like to show some support, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.